Welcome to the training on Occupational Health, Environment and Safety. Today, let us learn about shock and its preliminary treatment. Before we begin, let's take a look at the key learning objectives. After completing this module, you will be able to Define shock Explain causes of shock Recognize and list signs and symptoms of person experiencing shock. Explain steps to help a person in shock and demonstrate the first aid to be given in case shock is suspected. Let us first understand what is a shock. Shock occurs when the human circulation system fails to send blood to all parts of the body. When a person is in shock, the organs do not get enough blood or oxygen. If untreated, this condition can lead to permanent organ damage or death. Let us now see the different types of shocks. Click each box to know more. Anaphylactic shock is caused by hypersensitivity or an allergic reaction. Hypovolemic shock is caused when there is a blood or fluid loss. Septic shock is caused by bacteria. Cardiogenic shock is a result of heart damage. Neurogenic shock is caused due to spinal cord trauma. What are the causes of shocks? Shock may be a result of trauma heat stroke, blood loss, allergic reaction, severe infection, poisoning, severe burns or septicemia, blood poisoning. What are the signs and symptoms of a person in shock? The signs and symptoms are clammy skin. Cool, moist and pale. Rapid breathing. Weak or rapid pulse. Low blood pressure. Nausea. Vomiting. Confusion. Restlessness and nervousness. Excessive thirst. Overly excited and anxious. Eyes lack luster and may seem to stare. There are six initial steps in the treatment of a shock. Click to know more. Step 1. Call for medical emergency. Step 2. Have the person lie down on his or her back with feet about a foot higher than the head. Step 3. Check for signs of circulation, breathing, coughing or movement and if absent, begin CPR. Step 4. Keep the person warm and comfortable by loosening any belts or tight clothing and covering him or her with a blanket. Step 5. Turn the person on his or her side to prevent choking in case of vomit or bleeding from the mouth. Step 6. Seek treatment for injuries such as bleeding or broken bones. Further treatment depends on the type of shock the person has experienced. There are certain things we should not do during shocks. Do not give any food or liquids to the patient. If he or she wants water, moisten the lips. Do not allow the patient to move unnecessarily, eat, drink or smoke. Do not leave the patient unattended. How to treat someone for shock When you encounter someone in a state of shock, seek medical attention immediately. Shock occurs when there is an insufficient amount of blood flowing through the body. It's often the result of a serious illness or injury, such as from a car accident. It's a life-threatening condition. You'll need to act fast. You will need a 
awareness of the signs of shock and a calm demeanor. Optional, a blanket, something with which to prop up feet, and a shading device, like an umbrella. Step 1. Check for signs of shock. They include clammy skin, paleness, restlessness, thirst, bleeding, profuse sweating, confusion, labored or rapid breathing, blotchy or bluish skin, especially around the mouth, and nausea and or vomiting. If someone has lost a lot of blood, is severely dehydrated, has serious burns or wounds, or is suffering from a severe allergic reaction, assume he is going into shock and begin treating him. Step 2. Treat minor shock, where the shock is more due to the event than the injury, by having the person sit down and put his head between his legs, especially if he feels like he's going to faint. The rush of blood to his head will help stabilize him. Step 3. Loosen clothing at the neck, waist, and wherever it appears to be tight. Step 4. Keep the person lying down and elevate his legs off the ground, unless they're fractured, to help direct more blood toward the vital organs. If he's having trouble breathing and you're sure he's suffered no injuries to his neck or spine, elevate his head and shoulders. Do not move the person at all if you don't know what his injuries are, or you could cause more damage. Step 5. Check for blood in the mouth. If it's present, turn the person on his side so he won't choke. Step 6. Keep him at a comfortable body temperature by covering him if it's cold or providing shade if it's hot. If a tourniquet has been applied, try to keep it uncovered. Step 7. Do your best to keep the person calm by providing constant reassurance. Speak and act with confidence, even if you're quaking inside. Do not give the person anything to eat or drink unless a medical professional instructs you to do so. Step 8. Stay with the victim until medical help arrives. Did you know? The steps to treat shock are exactly the same as those to prevent shock.